right now. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday and uh, we're in the second section. Uh, last week, I believe we uh, completed uh, Needle at Sea Bottom. So today uh, we'll be working on fan back and uh, uh, depending upon our time, uh, we'll see if we can get to turn body chop with this. It's kind of a meaty uh, movement. All right, so um, uh, we'll go ahead and start with our practice. We'll start at cross hands, and then we'll go all the way to needle at sea bottom. All right, so here we are from here. We go embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Roll back. Press. Push. Fist under elbow. Step back, repulse the monkey, one, two, three, diagonal fly. Raise hands. Forward. White crane spreads its wings. Left knee brush. Needle at the sea bottom. Okay, how are we doing? Does anyone have any questions on anything we've done so far? Okay, that's no. All right, so let's look at the footwork for the next movement. It's called fan through the back. So we're in an empty stance using the ball of our foot. We need to transition to a bow stance. So what does that mean? So, so here we are in our empty stance. I want you to, to uh, shift your weight back to the right leg, pick up your left foot, step wide enough with the heel edge for a bow stance, and then move weight forward. This should be a pretty simple uh, footwork uh, technique for you, okay? So here we are at knee left seat bottom. Shift your weight to the right leg. Pick up your left foot, step wide enough for a bow stance, and shift your weight forward, heel ball toe. Okay, so that should be pretty clear. Does anybody have any questions on, on the footwork? Okay, that's a no. All right, so let's look at the arm, the upper body uh, movement. Okay, so here we are at knee let see bottom. Our arm should be about a 45 degree angle from our shoulder, fingers pointing downward. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to lift up your right arm straight, just like it is. Then about halfway up, I want you to rotate your right arm, palm facing towards the side. Then I want you to lift up, okay? So from here, lift up your right arm, rotate the right arm, continue lifting up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend it. We're going to bend it so that the palm now is opposite our, our face, okay? With the palm facing to the right. So again, from here, lift straight up, halfway up, rotate, and continue lifting up. Then bend your elbow. 
okay? That should be pretty simple, okay? So um, what is the left arm doing? Let me go this direction, okay. So here we are at knee let's see bottom. I'm gonna lift up and about halfway up, I'm gonna start rotating my right arm and I'm gonna to touch my left palm to my forearm. Uh, about maybe a little bit behind the ribs. Then with my left arm, I'm going to lift up as my right arm still rotates. Then from here, the right arm is gonna come back and the left arm is gonna go forward. So from here, we lift up, left arm starts to come over, right arm starting to rotate, then lift up as you complete the rotation with the right arm. Then right arm comes back, left arm comes forward. So we're striking with the left arm. So what I want you to imagine here is, if something's, uh, somebody's grabbing your wrist, we lift up and then from here, we, we connect with their hand. So we trap their hand and lift up and then we can hit them in the chest, okay? So, um, so the important point here is, when you go to lift up your arm, try not to do this. See how I'm bending it in? Lift up, just lift it straight up from where it is. Lift it straight up and then rotate. You're gonna have a pretty straight arm, but remember, it's not gonna be locked, it's gonna be straight. Uh, but straight includes a slight bend, so it's not naturally straight. Then, we're gonna bring it back, okay? So the, the most uh, common mistake people make with this movement is when they lift up, they start to bend the arm. So now the arm is already bent. And uh, so, so if you can think of and remember when you're doing this movement, yin and yang. So what is yin and yang? How does that play here? One arm is straight, one arm is bent. Then they trade places. One arm goes straight, one arm goes bent, okay? So uh, we need to make sure that we're showing those, those uh, two things. All right, so uh, uh, I'm gonna go this direction, and here we are at knee let's see bottom. Okay, so we're gonna lift up. Halfway up, we're gonna rotate, and, and the left palm is gonna touch the forearm. Then we're gonna continue lifting up. I'm shifting my weight back, when my arm gets to the top, I'm going to step. Then I'm going to move my weight forward to go into my bow stance, and my left arm comes forward, and my right arm comes back. Now our shoulders are open, maybe a little bit more than the corner direction. So if you think of single whip, then our position should be like this, okay? So our torso is standing straight up and down, so try not to lean straight up and down. All right, so I'll go your same direction. Here we are at knee let's see bottom. Okay, standing up, right arms lifting up, halfway up starting to rotate, left palm connects and helps to lift up the right arm. Right arm gets to the top, we step. Then move weight, right arm back, left arm forward to strike. Is your torso straight up and down or are you leaning? So make sure there are a couple of movements that we stay uh, straight up and down. Single whip, fan through the back, and, um, and ward off left, okay? And prepare and uh, opening and closing, we are standing straight up, okay? All right, so let's try that one more time. Let's try it from the knee brush. So we're here at left knee brush. You should be in a good bow stance, okay? All right, needle at C bottom. Move weight, lower your right arm a little bit. Shift back, pull back the right arm. Change your footwork. Sit. Fan through the back, standing up, lift up. Starting to rotate, lift up, step. Move weight, right arm back, left arm forward. Is your torso straight up and down? Is your right palm opposite your head? Is your left arm when you're striking, is it striking straight in front of your shoulder or are you inside of your shoulder or outside the shoulder? Make sure it's in line with your shoulder, we're striking, okay? 
and we're, we're here. So here, try to keep your elbow down. Elbow down, shoulder down. All right, let's try it one more time. I'll go this direction. Okay? All right. Needle at C bottom, yielding forward. Right arm goes down slightly. Move weight back. Now you're on your heel edge. Change your footwork and sit. Fan through the back, standing up, rotating, lift up, step, strike. Remember your torso straight up and down. Your right palm should be opposite your head, looking straight forward to the nine o'clock direction. And make sure this right elbow is down, okay? Okay, good. Do we have any questions on this movement? It's kind of a simple movement, right? Nancy, exactly, this is Marion. Exactly how high do you want that arm to go up before you pull it back into uh, the block for your face? Should it be level okay. with your head or angled a bit? Or? Uh, okay, so that's kind of a good question. Uh, it should be... Uh, I love it. So when you're pulling it back, it should be the same height. So... Okay. Your palm should be opposite your face, huh, temple. Okay. Temple. Uh, so when we're here, it should be about temple height. Great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So here I want you to make sure that you're clear that when your arm reaches the top, we step at the same time. Right. So, so, so if we come here and you lift up at the top and then you step, you're too late. Okay. So just make sure that the timing is correct. Okay. All okay. right. Thank All right. You. Anybody else have any questions? Okay, that's a no. All right, let's go on. Turn body chop with fist. Uh, okay, I love this movement. All right, this is the movement. Okay, the footwork is going to be the same as... Uh, um, it's called single whip. It's just now we're using our left foot, okay? And we're going the other direction. So, so with single whip, we're going from three o'clock to nine o'clock. From, uh, from uh, uh, chop with fist, we're going from nine o'clock to three o'clock. So here we are in our bow stance, going towards the nine o'clock direction. So we're gonna shift back and we're gonna turn, we're gonna pivot on this heel. And if you can pivot to the corner, that's fine. If not, don't worry, you can go to 12 o'clock or wherever you go, okay? Then move weight to the left leg, bring the right foot in, and I want you to step in your bow stance, and then I want you to roll onto your heel, okay? So again, let's, let's try this one more time. Move weight back, turn, pivot. Shift weight back, bring the right foot in, Stepping for your bow stance to three o'clock, touch with the heel edge, then move way on to the, 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 the whole heel, okay? All right, so let's try that one more time. From here, move way back, turn, shift back, bring the right foot in, step, move way on to the ball, okay? We're eventually going to go into a bow stance, but I need for you to kind of, uh, uh, kind of pause here a little bit, okay? All right. Does anybody have any questions on this footwork? Okay, this should be pretty simple because it's just the opposite, the mirror image of, of single whip. Okay. So, so if, let's say, for instance, you're not able to make it to the corner, you can make it to 12 o'clock, then when you shift back, come to the middle and pivot and then step out, and then rock, uh, uh, roll onto your heel, okay? So we can modify this footwork just like we did the opposite direction for a single whip. Okay, so here we are at fan through the back. So here I want you to remember that uh, this family form, Yang family uh, Tai Chi, is known for big, round movements. Okay, so why am I emphasizing big and round? Okay. So here we have the right hand opposite the temple, okay? The right arm is gonna go back a little bit, 
and then it's going to come down. It's pressing down, and then it's going to push inward. So it's going to push to the left. So from here, here, okay, back, down, and going towards the left side. So what I want you to think about is, if somebody comes to hit towards you, we can connect and then deflect the hit, okay? So that's what we're doing is we're deflecting the hit, okay? So that's why this arm's gotta make like a U-turn. It's gonna go back, down, and in, okay? So the left hand, the left hand is striking. Left arm's got it easy, because the left arm, all the left arm needs to do is circle up. From here, it circles up. Then from here, all you need to do is drop your elbow and have your left palm in front of your left shoulder. Make sure at this point that you don't collapse your elbow into your body. So from here, when it circles up, then keep your elbow, it's, it's gonna move a little bit, but keep that distance between your elbow and, and your body so that you have this shape. This is our striking shape, okay? And then, uh, uh, um, uh, okay, so, so let's, let's take it from here, okay? All right, right arm's gonna go back, down, and in. Left arm's gonna circle upward until they get to this closed position, okay? So if you think of a ball, or if you think of the yin-yang symbol, okay, we are kind of following the outward symbol to make this circle. So our arm should be circled at this point. And remember here on the right arm, don't have it too close to your body. Make sure your elbow is out slightly so that you have space in your armpit, okay? So once we've circled, once we've circled here, okay, I want you to make a fist with your right hand. Have we talked about making a fist? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Not in this class. Not in this class, okay. So, so just let me quickly go over making a fist. Okay, with an open palm, uh, bend your fingers, bend your fingers, take your thumb, and close it over between your, your first and your second knuckle, or here, okay? So from here, bend, bend, close, okay? And when we make a fist, we wanna make it so that uh, the, um, the front of your fist is flat. So when we go to punch something, it's flat here, okay? Uh, all right, so, so here, what we're gonna be using is the back, part of our hand, okay? The back part of our hand, but we have this fist, okay? So from here, we circle inward and we make a fist. Then from here, what I want your fist to do is come up from left to right. So now it should be, your arm should be in front of your right shoulder, okay? and it's gonna be bent a little bit, so don't be too straight, okay? It's gonna be bent a little bit because we're using this part of our hand to punch them in the face, okay? So from here, right hand, right hand fist lifts up and punches. And then, uh, and then that's it for right now, okay? So, so we're like this. We make a fist. When the right arm comes up, the left arm goes down. So from here, the left hand comes down and sits in front of the shoulder. So from here, make your fist, right arm comes up, left arm goes down. And so now we're, and make sure that you have this angle with your fist, not like this. We need to bend in a little bit so that we are using the back part of our fist. If we keep it like this, we're more than likely gonna be hitting them with our knuckles. So we want to make this shape, this rounded shape here, this rounded shape here, okay? 
uh, when we chop. This is called chop with fizz. Okay, so if we try to put these two together, uh, upper body, lower body, we're like this at fan through the back. Okay, now shift back, keep your arms the same. Now, when you turn, the right arm's gonna circle back, left arm's coming up, then they start to come in towards each other. We're closing. Now, shift your weight back. When you shift your weight back, make your fist. When you shift your weight back, make your fist. Then, we're gonna step out for our bow stance using our heel edge. Stepping out with the heel edge, then, Rock onto the heel edge. Roll onto your heel, heel, your whole heel when you chop. Okay, so let, let me do it this direction. Okay. Shift back, keep your arms the same. When you turn, then the arms start to circle. And they come together. Then shift weight back, make your fits. Bring the right foot in and step out for your bow stance and roll onto your heel as you chop, okay? So, so this I want you to kind of slightly pause here and know that this is kind of a, uh, a, a, slight, a slight pause because we're, we're, we're hitting them in the face, okay? All right, let's try this again from here. Turn body, chop with fists. Back, circle your arms. Arms closed, shift back, make your fist. Bring the right foot in. Now, stepping with the heel edge, roll onto the heel and chop. Then from here, move weight forward. Left arm comes forward to strike. Right hand goes and sits along our hip. The hip, the lower part of the hip, the hip joint that joins the hip with the leg. So not up here, down here, okay? So uh, let's try that again from here. All right, turn body, chop with fists. Back, turn, circling the arms. Shift back, make your fists. Bring the right foot in, step out for your bow stance, roll onto your heel as you chop. Is your fist kind of, make sure your wrist is kind of sitting back a little bit. Then move weight forward, strike. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Turn body, chop with fists. Back, turn, circling the arms. Back, make your fist. Right foot comes in. Stepping, chopping. Are you still kind of in an empty stance here? Then move weight into your bow stance and strike. So now our shoulders should be square forward, looking straight forward. This is turn body chop with fists. This is beautiful movement. Okay. All right, I'll go this direction. All right, ready? Turn body chop with fists. Back, turn, circling the arms. Arms close, back, make your fists. Then chop, rolling onto the heel. Then go into your bow stance, strike. Okay, so let's, does anybody have any questions? So this is Pierre, I'm, um, something I'm, uh, struggling with puzzled over is the right hand uh, and when when the right hand goes from the temple the big circle down and so what i'm trying to do is you know, if i think about the essential of keeping my shoulders uh, sort of sinking my chest and rounding my back my my shoulders are already pretty open when my palm is by my temple if i move my hand back it seems to really open my shoulder a lot how do i do that Okay, uh, all right, so, so, so it's not gonna be a very big round coming back. It's gonna be a slight back, just a slight back, and then pressing down and coming inward. So if you make this movement, 
Try not to do this. Try not to do this. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to do this. A slight back. A slight back, down, in. So try not to make this too big because when you come back a lot, then this is gonna open up your chest, okay? But I also don't want you to do this, press down. I don't want you to just press down. I want you to come back a little bit and, and make a little circle here. Just like we make a little circle here. We make a little circle here for, you know, lifting arm. This, I want you to make a little circle and come inward. Probably most of the back is from your body shifting back. You know, I'm drawing my elbow back a little bit, Michael. Okay. How, how does that feel, Pierre? Yep, that's very helpful. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, any, anybody else have any questions? I want you to keep in mind, uh, uh, and, and Pierre brought up a very good point, the, uh, the 10 essentials. The 10 essentials are vital in um, our, in, in what we're doing our Tai Chi, okay? So, um, so we don't want to break any of those rules. Uh, we try not to, okay? So, so what I would not want to see is back, turn. So now see how my elbow is going way too far back. Okay. We, we want to just make a small circle and make sure that we're not um, opening up the chest. Uh, we still need to have a slightly concave in chest and a round back. So, um, so good point. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Let's try this from um, left knee brush. Okay. So here we are in our bow stance going towards the nine o'clock direction. Okay. All right, needle at C bottom, yielding forward, shift back, change your footwork, sit. Stand up, make sure you keep that right arm pretty straight. Rotate, lift up, step, strike. Is your right palm opposite your temple? Is your left arm uh, striking from your shoulder? Is your torso straight up and down? All right, turn body chop with fist. Back, turn, circling the arms. Arms close, shift back, make your fist. Then empty stance, strike. Then bow stance. Oh, actually, I said that wrong. I should have said chop. Okay, let's do it again. So there's a difference between chopping and and uh, striking. Okay. Well, we're the kind of same. All right. So needle at the C bottom. Fan through the back. Turn body, chop with fist, strike. Okay, anybody have any questions? Nancy, it's Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Nancy. I'm not understanding when you say at the very end of that that you're going from an empty stance to a bow stance because not seeing you shift your feet at all. Yes, okay. Um, typically an empty stance is one line, two sides. We follow the center line, right? So they're right. Oh, kind of close. But we have 70% of the weight in the back and 30% of the weight in the forward. When we chop with fists, we're in a bow stance. But, we, but, but when we step and when we chop, it's like being in an empty stance. And then we move our weight forward to go into our bow stance. So our footwork is not changing aside from the weight distribution. Okay. Okay. So, so I don't want you to chop with this in an empty stance and then move weight forward to go into a bow stance, uh, you know, and, and then move weight forward to go into a bow stance. Yeah. About into a bow stance, but we initially assign weight like an empty stance and then move weight to then become the 60% forward, 40% back. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'll go this direction. All right. So from left knee brush, we go to needle at C bottom. Fan through the back. Keep that right arm pretty straight. Lifting up step. Then forward and back. Turn body. Chop with fist. And strike. Does that make it more clear, Kathy? Yes, Nancy, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, does anybody else have any questions? All right, let's look at looking direction. Looking direction. Uh, we shift back, I'm still looking at, shift back, still looking at the nine o'clock direction. When I turn, my head goes the direction of my body. All right, now I'm looking at the nine o'clock direction. Then I just stay focused on the nine o'clock direction. I just stay focused on the nine o'clock direction. Okay, so the 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 eye uh, looking direction should be pretty clear. All right, so let's try it from fan through the back. Okay, looking at the nine o'clock direction, shift back. Still looking at nine o'clock. Now, when your body turns, just have your head follow your turn. Now you should be looking at nine o'clock direction. Shift back. Keep on the nine o'clock direction. Chop, keeping on nine o'clock, stay at the nine o'clock and strike. Okay, so one of the things that I like that's pretty cool with this movement, here Michael, I'm gonna need you right now, is um, how, how do we, how do we uh, chop and what are we doing with our opponent? Okay, so say our opponent is here, okay, and with his right hand, he's gonna make a fist, okay? So when he comes to punch towards me, this is why we have to have this hand come this direction, okay? We circle around and then we connect and we can deflect if need be, okay? Now the cool thing about this movement is, is that when I'm here, this left arm comes down, right? This left arm comes down, why? When we go to use it, I'm gonna switch places. Then I'm gonna step. Then I'm gonna punch, okay? So we're transferring, we're transferring here from the punch, then from here I switch off, then I grab, then I bring him in and I punch, and then I can let go and I can strike, so I can strike him away from me. So yeah, this, yeah I, I love this movement. Uh, <laughs> Nancy, that doesn't quite look, it looks like your, your vision is actually switching a little bit from, I think, nine o'clock when you you begin then you're still looking nine o'clock when you're doing your punch but it looks like you've sh your head shifts a little to the right is is it still like within that range or um how we do it in the form and how you go to actually do it when you go to use it mm -hmm. where you're going to be looking okay right. uh, hopefully you're looking at your opponent okay right so, so uh when we do it in the form mm -hmm. i'm looking at Okay, I'm looking at nine o'clock. I turn, now I'm looking at three o'clock. Right. I stay here at the three or nine o'clock direction. I stay here at the three or nine, nine o'clock direction. Oh, I don't, I yeah, once I turn, I'm, I'm focused on this, this uh, direction, the side okay. direction. Okay. Uh, so I don't, I don't turn away from that side direction. Uh, depending upon where my opponent is, is where I'm gonna be looking. Okay. So, um, so we give you, we give you some guidelines uh, uh, on how we want it to look like uh, uh, to be standard when you're performing, when you're doing your, your Tai Chi form. But when you go to use it, uh, you're, you're, you're free to do whatever you need to do to protect yourself. But for a, but for a practice purposes, we're gonna stick with nine o'clock or three o'clock. Yes. Okay. The straight, side direction. Okay, all right, yes. thank you. You're welcome, okay. Any other questions? Uh, Nancy, or yeah, this is Susie. I have a question on the punch. Okay. So as I'm looking at it, 
you, it's not like a slap where you punch and come back, but you punch and stay where it is and bring it down. Is that correct? So you're like connecting with your opponent, but you're not, it's not like a slap. I, I thought it was kind of a, um, a hit and return, a hit and bounce back. Uh, it, 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 it is just a little bit. Uh, okay, so, so, so when you do this movement, it's not chop, strike, okay? What I want, what I, what, what I think it is, is chop, chop. Now when I push my heel into the floor, when I rock from my heel edge to my heel, there, there's, it's moving with my body. Chop, then strike. Do you, can you see it? Chop, chop, chop. When, when, you go to, when you go to hit somebody like this, you hit them, you don't want to just stay there. You don't want to just stay there. We're going to punch and it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but I don't want you to do it chop, chop like this, chop. So it's more going to be chop, chop. Do you understand what I'm saying, Susie? Uh, yeah, I see it. I, I mean, I'm understanding it. I, I've obviously been bringing my arm back more to a 90 degree angle and yeah, yours is more extended on that chop. Yes. And so, that it stays out there when you bring it down to your hip. Yeah. So, you know, just chop, 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 but, but don't chop and bring it back. Chop, you know, chop. <laughs> <laughs> chop and stay chopped. <laughs> yeah, uh, there'll just be a little slight reaction, but it should not be too big. Chop. Don't chop. Don't don't add anything at the end of the chop. Yeah. Try to just extend it. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. You know, just practice this one a little bit, uh, uh, Susie. Just isolate this one one chopping movement and see and and see what you can feel. You, you'll feel that when your your heel goes down, that your arm motion will go with it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay. So here's another flaw that people have when they do this movement. I'm going to go this direction. Turn body, chop with fist. See my left arm? Your left arm should be here, okay? So remember that when you turn and when you chop, your left palm is now ready to strike. It's not striking from down here. It's striking from the shoulder. So, uh, Make sure that it's that it that it's here. Okay, so let's try this one time together And we're gonna make sure if the left arm stays in front of the shoulder. Okay, so here we are then through the back All right, turn body Circling the arms Chop with this I want you to stop when you chop Chop is your left hand in front of your left shoulder Okay, then Strike Okay, so remember our end posture is going to be that our shoulders are square, left hand in front of the left shoulder, strike position, not push position. So we're using the palm heel, okay, and this left, this right arm, this left right arm, try to have it not go behind you. Okay, it is behind you, but it's not, it, it should be kind of open. Okay, so if you go to this shape, make a fist and bring your arm back then your arm will look like this. It won't look like this, okay? So open up, open up your, um, round your back, concave in the, the chest slightly, and you'll, you'll be in this position, okay? All right, so let's take it from uh, a knee brush, the left knee brush. Okay. Needle at the C, bottom. Fan through the back. Turn body. 
chop with fist. And strike. Okay, how's this? Does anybody have any questions? Okay, that's a no. All right, so your job, we did two movements today. Fan through the back and turn body and chop with fist. Okay, remember when you do fan through the back, when you lift up your arm, your right arm, keep it the same as it was when you were doing needle at the bottom. When you lift up, don't start bending your elbow, okay? And make sure that the left arm, left hand connects with the forearm, you know, kind of by the wrist, a little bit behind the wrist. And it helps lift up your right arm, okay? So we use it to help lift up the right arm. And then from here, now we can go forward and back. We have this nice yin and yang motion. And when you do turn body chop with this, make sure that um, when you chop, that your left hand is in front of your left shoulder, okay? And that finish, that, that we're not overturn. Keep your shoulder, shoulder, okay? All right, so go forth and practice your Tai Chi, and I will see you next Wednesday or something I'll see tomorrow or Sunday, okay? So thank you for coming, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. 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 Thank you.